to Mitchell. Showing off the shiftiness. And finally dragged down from behind by Rashad Wisdom. Team to defend. First pass attempt, Lewis downfield. Into coverage, it's broken up, intended for Lacey. Flag is down, Corey Mayfield on the coverage. Pass interference, defense, number 26. 15-yard penalty, and an automatic first down. Six foot three, Lacey. He just sent, I think it was the tap on the back that, caught, that got the attention of the back judge. Out of the empty set. Lewis on the slant, connects. It's the freshman, Kyron Lacey, who leads the team and catches and moves the chains. Lewis, soft play action. Floats one into the end zone. Wide open, Jalen Williams. The former professional baseball player. They call him old man. <laughs> 25 years old, and old man Williams, the first score of the game. After being off for a month. Harris again to the air, rolling out to his left, and it's caught along the near sideline. Bramble drill. Louisiana again late getting its personnel on. Throw to the far side, and we get another flag. Eric Guerra in coverage. Cephas the target. He's already on this Louisiana defense. Really is, and he just got there a tad bit early, and he breaks arm tackles. He gets the call on third and one, picks up the first down, and then some. Would lean to his running stop. Off play action, Harris chased. Throws on the run, and intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Percy Butler. And that's what this Louisiana secondary can do to you. Steps up on the wheel route. Chris Smith, he's got great speed, and he is deep into UTSA territory. Plenty of time. Lewis downfield, and that's going to be a flag. May have saved the touchdown. Pass interference. Defense number 20. 15-yard penalty. Here's Smith to the outside. He's got a first down. And then Amtrak's his way inside the 15. Regis motions out. And he drops it. So fourth down. And uh, this is makeable range. It's a fake. Looking. important for Frank Harris in his offense. Third and four. Harris pumps. Steps up. He'll run for it. And the Sun Belt said the two teams would be co-champions. McCormick. The Conference USA Offensive Player of the Year with a gain of 15. Just pulled it out. McCormick up the gut again. And he's into Louisiana territory. On fourth and two. Again, McCormick breaking that initial tackle, and he picks up the first down. Perfect inside 43 this year. This one from 42, and he missed it. Aragas rejoins Lewis in the backfield. And back to Trey Regis, running with power, and there's the hammer. A lot of air time and a lot of time for NFL scouts to evaluate early. Kyron Lacey, the true freshman. And he's close to the 30-yard line. Once more on the ground, Mitchell breaking tackles. And a red zone opportunity for Louisiana. Four-man rush. Lewis had a wide-open receiver, and it's dropped. No fake this time. The quarterback is the plus one when you want to when you've got to defend quarterback run. And there's Harris again on the zone read. First down and takes it out of bounds inside the 40. You appreciate that. You don't see many of those guys anymore. Harris steps up and 
takes it inside of the 44-yard line. Mm -hmm. Roadrunner football team and quarterback Frank Harris. We told you, two torn ACLs, shoulder injury, knee injury this year. He has number zero. There's another tough guy, single-digit wearing Leroy Watson, the tight end. I tried. Third and eight. Harris lofts one up. Hung in the air forever. It's broken up, and we get a flag at the end of the play. The one-on-one -on -one down here. Pass interference. Defense, number 19. A gain of 15. First down and 10 for UTSA. And Sincere McCormick. No, it's Frank Harris. Oh, the defense went for three. Harris saw the quarterback run. His fourth rushing touchdown in the last four games, and UTSA is on the board. Regis again, right up the middle. On the ground once more, Mitchell using the stiff arm, breaks free. And Mitchell inside the 30-yard line. A minute 38 to go in this opening half. Lewis to the far side. It's caught. And some running room. Lewis wants six. He wants Lacey. And the true freshman hauls it in. Short some linebackers. They've been gashed up the middle by Louisiana. Harris dropped the ball. It comes out. That's a live ball. And it's picked up by Louisiana. Farad Gardner with the fumble the recovery. It's a backwards pass recovered by Louisiana. Step. This is just an unfortunate muff of the shotgun snap. It's a low snap. Frank Harris can't secure the ball. Ends up getting hit and tries to pitch it out, which ill-advised, of course. Elijah Mitchell, touchdown, Raging Cajuns. Really, when you're not concerned about a quarterback beating you downfield. Well, you make sure you account for him. Or you do that. Yep. For Rod Gardner, who had the fumble recovery at the start of this quarter, comes up with a sack. Game not on the sidelines. He had a positive COVID test Wednesday. A subsequent positive test confirmed it. Ball has popped out. And it's picked up by UTSA and Harmonson. The road runner defense had to make a play because this game was on the verge of getting away. UTSA now plus nine on the season. And what a great effort by Guidry. Uh, would have been what I've gone with. Yeah. Harris moving the pocket. He's dangerous when he rolls out. And able to complete. Quarter and saw right there. Again to the air. Harris saluting the pursuit. He's got a first down and more and tumbles down at about the 35 yard line. A pickup of 15. Harris zings one downfield. Franklin high points it and makes the catch for a TD. It's the ball. And the difference between this throw and the previous downfield throws. Had himself a really good football team. Frank Harris will keep it and run it, hurdling a defender. Nine. Open receiver, soft spot. It's Cephas. Harris off play action. Downfield. Hits his man in stride. It's Franklin again. He's got a 100-yard game. Best throw of the day for Frank Harris. Ball and then use the movement of the pocket here in the red zone with Harris. Harris saw the slant end zone. Touchdown, UTSA. Three-man pressure. Lewis to the sideline. He's got Neil Johnson well shy. And fourth down, Louisiana will punt it away, and UTSA is going to get the ball with a chance to take the lead. Missed a lot of time this year after breaking his collarbone early this season. Gives it to McCormick. Huge hole. McCormick, the stiff arm, and he is out of bounds in Louisiana territory to play football. Harris keeps it on the zone read. Looking for the edge, 
And Vipers out of bounds at the 35. Um, opportunities to where their eyes are forward in the defensive backfield. Oscar Cardenas flag down the tight end, just his third catch of the season. McCormick now in motion. Harris pumps, rolling to his left, throwing, and it's incomplete, broken up, intended for the tight end, Cardenas. Missed his only attempt today. Hits the chip shot from 20. Pressure coming. Lewis read it. Mitchell, great block on the perimeter. Cuts it back. Midfield, still going. And Elijah Mitchell all the way down close to the 35-yard line. To the 230-pound Regis. And that offensive line, a semifinalist for the Joe Moore Award. What's written on that offensive line throw today? Mitchell has the first down at the 10 yard line. Off the right hip of Lewis. Regis powers in, and Louisiana back on top. You know, Chad Morris was let go. There's the quarterback run, which has worked so well. And Frank Harris, he has passed Iowa State's Brees Hall today for the national lead in rushing yards. Harris throws, has an open Leroy Watson. And how about the piano playing tight end? Louisiana's gonna stay back. Oh, they're gonna bring some pressures. Now you got some one-on-ones. Five-man pressure incomplete. Turnover on downs. He has led this program to back-to-back -to -back 10 win seasons. Did you see him try? He knew it was coming, tried to avoid it. And the big boy up front, <laughs> Big Taylor Humphrey, 6'5", 333 pounds, and no, 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 coach, you're not going anywhere. 